Hello students, myself Dr. Shundi Pal. Today I will be talking about Jew Geographical Realm. This particular topic comes under your Zoology Honors Semester 3 syllabus and the paper name is Zua COR 05T and Unit 10 that is Jew Geography. So first of all, what is Jew Geography? If you uh, see the name Jew Geography, there are two parts. One is Zoo and another So this is the topic, Jew Geographical Realms, Geology Honors, Semester 3, Paper Zoo or COR 05T, Unit 10 and the topic name is Jew Geography. So first of all, uh, this is Jew Geographical Realms. As I have said, there are six uh, realms all over the world and the realms are Palearctic, Nearctic, Neotropical, Ethiopian, Oriental and Australian. So there are six realms and to study this Jew geography, you need to remember at least uh, you have to have a rough idea about the world map, about the oceans and about few countries. You all know this region is Asia, this portion is Europe. So this full continent consists of Europe and Asia that is Eurasia. This continent is North America, this one South America, this is African continent, this Orient, Oriental realm consists of India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Northeast countries and this is Australian realm consists of Australian continent, Tasmania, New Zealand. These are the oceans, Pacific Ocean from this starting from this side to that side. This is Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic, South Atlantic and this is Indian Ocean. This uh, particular sea is called Red Sea and this is Bay of Bengal, this is South China Sea. So you all need to remember these small things about the world map. And uh, uh, this one is Greenland and this is Iceland. This particular island uh, beside um, African continent is Madagascar. This is the fourth largest island in the world. So now let us start with the Palearctic realm. So you need to remember the regions, the sub-regions and the characteristic fauna, especially mammals and birds of each Jew geographical realm. First one, Palearctic. Palearctic, this, this is the Palearctic realm. So in Palearctic realm, the geographic range of this particular realm consists of whole northern part of the old world, North Himalayas, North Africa and Japan. The four sub-regions sub are European that is North Europe, Mediterranean that is South Europe, Siberian and Manchurian. So these are the four sub-regions of this particular realm. Now we need to know the characteristic fauna of this realm. This picture, let us start with the mammals. This picture is of American bison. American bison is only found in this Palearctic realm. Next, 
this one is european beaver and this one european brown bear this is called two humped camel as you can see there are two humps at their back and it is also called bactrian camel this animal is found in palearctic region especially in the mongolian region next alpine ibex it is a mountain goat like animal romanian hamster and this one is reindeer next lynx this is the characteristic feature of lynx is um, uh, there are tuft of hairs at the end of their ears and the tail is short in case of lynx it is a uh, animal from cat family and this one is monk seal this one is giant panda as you all know that uh, giant panda is the flagship species of uh, wwf and uh, uh, they are now uh, very much endangered as because they rely on the food a special kind of bamboo um, um, the um, amount of which is uh, continuously decreasing and that's why uh, their population is also decreasing and now the birds characteristic bird fauna or avian fauna of this particular realm this one is european starling this one great bustard this is japanese crane this one mute swan this is accentured bird and this is ringed owl o u z e l owl so these are a few uh, characteristic bird species of palearctic realm now next move into the following realm that is nearctic nearctic means this particular northern america north american region the geographic range is whole of north america up to mexico greenland in the northeast and the aleutian islands in the west the four sub regions are california next number 2 rocky mountain region number 3 allegheny and number 4 canadian next characteristic fauna let's start with mammals first one is american bison before you have seen the european bison and this one is american bison they are completely different this one is canadian beaver you have already seen the european beaver this one is canadian beaver and this is american opossum this is the only marsupial mammal present outside australia as you know that uh, in australian continent uh, there are all mammals are um, uh, marsupials but uh, uh, in america all mammals are placental only this one is marsupial this is grizzly bear snowshoe hare and this predatory animal is called coyote 
C-O-Y-O-T-E. It is a, a jackal-like animal. This is Ocelot, a member from cat family, the scientific name of which is Panthera pardalis. This is far seal. You have already seen monk seal in Palearctic and in Nearctic it is called far seal. And this is Gulf porpoise. This is the smallest member of dolphin family. Next, moving to the birds. This is bald eagle. You, you perhaps you have seen. Uh, uh, this is the uh, national bird of America, USA. And this is road runner, a small bird. This one is masked bob white, peeping plover, Eskimo curlew. This is critically endangered bird now. And this one is blue jay. This is trumpeted swan. thick billed parrot and this one is sage grouse. This is a very interesting bird. Uh, actually, this is male and he is uh, displaying uh, di uh, before the mating, that is sexual display. Uh, so they uh, gather in certain place where uh, that is called lake, L-E-K, where males perform dances with this uh, uh, beautiful feathers and to attract uh, females. Next, move into the next region that is South American region, which is called Neotropical Realm. The geographical range is whole of South America tropical North America and the Antilles Islands. That means islands of West Indies. The four subregions of this realm are number one, Chilean, number two, Brazilian, number three, Mexican, and number four, Antillean. Let's see the characteristic fauna. First, mammals. This is spider monkey. Their uh, tail is very long and very strong. These are called tamarind. First one is golden lion tamarind and this one cotton top tamarind. So cotton like uh, hairs, that is it is called cotton top tamarind. And it looks like lion, that is why, uh, hence the name. Next, uh, llama and alpaca, they are the relatives of camels. They are found in Peru. This is a giant anteater, Mimicophaga. So, uh, uh, from the name, you can understand that it is uh, they, uh, their food is ant, and they are having uh, this uh, elongated, sticky tongue uh, with which they eat the ants and they are having uh, long nails in their front toes. This is jaguar, the rosette spot confirms that it is a 
Jaguar. This is Capybara, another beautiful mammal, Capybara. This is the uh, largest, largest species of rodent. This small mammal, like guinea pig, it is called Aguiti. Next, birds, macaws, there are different kinds of macaws. I have uh, presented here only two. This one is scarlet macaw, this one hyacinth macaw. This bird is called token, having large, large bill. This bird, virgin, and this one is trogon. This birds of prey is called harpy eagle and this one schema, screamer. Andean flamingo, seven colored tanager. And this is the flightless bird, Rhea. In North America, only one flightless bird can be found, which is Rhea. Next, move into the next realm that is Ethiopian. The geographical distribution of Ethiopian realm is whole of South America, Southern Arabia, Madagascar and few other islands. The sub-regions of this realm are number one, East Africa, this portion, then West Africa, South Africa and Malagasy. Malagasy means this Madagascar region. Now, the mammals. So, Africa, as you all know, that uh, it is the land of great apes. So, it starts with the gorilla, chimpanzee, sorry, bonobo. Bonobo is the closest relative of human. These are baboon-like animal. This one is called drill and this one is mandrill. Both are males. As you can see, the colors at their nasal region. This is aardvark. It is also a kind of anteater found in Africa and it is the sole representative, only representative of the order Tubuli dentata. This is African elephant, it is called Loxodonta africana. How you will be able to understand that this is African elephant and what is the difference between African and Asian elephant? In African elephant, the uh, ear is much bigger and it is at the uh, almost 90 degree angle with the body axis. And the body size is also much bigger. And this is zebra, giraffe found in African savanna. Spotted hyena and these are meerkat. This is African cheetah, that is Asinonyx jubatus, and its prey impala, a member from deer family. Now, next, move into the birds. 
of this African continent or Ethiopian realm. This is secretary bird, large predatory bird, Congo peacock and this is with a stout bill, this bird is called shoe bill as its bill looks like a shoe. And another flightless bird, um, the second one, first one is Rhea from Neotropical and in Ethiopian realm, this is ostrich, very large flightless bird. Next realm that is oriental. In oriental realm, the geographic range consists of whole of India, this portion, Ceylon, South China, Burma, Thailand, Malayan Peninsula, Malayan Islands like Bali, Borneo, Java, Sumatra, Celebs and Philippines. There are lots of small islands in this particular region. And one uh, thing you need to mention that uh, Oriental realm is demarcated from Australian realm by a line which is called Wallace line. There are no such barriers between, between this realm but Sir Alfred Russell Wallace, the famous scientist uh, who worked uh, at this place and uh, he demarcated this, uh, uh, the um, region between two islands just 30 kilometer apart that is Bali and Lombok and published a paper that Bali portion comes under oriental realm and Lombok portion comes under Australian realm. And after that, after his name, it is called Wallace Line. Uh, uh, next, uh, the subregions. The subregions of Oriental Realm, number one, Indian, number two, Ceylonese, number three, Indo Chinese, and number four, Malayan or Indo Malaya. Now characteristic fauna, first of all this one is orangutan, it is evident from its brown hairs. This one is proboscis monkey, elongated nose which is uh, looks like a proboscis that is why it is called proboscis monkey and this is gibbon. There are lots of uh, species of gibbons in this particular region, gibbon is also called tailless monkey. This is the common monkey uh, we can uh, uh, find almost everywhere in India, rhesus monkey and this monkey is endangered, it is only found in the western Ghat region, this is called lion tailed macaque. This beautiful animal is called red panda and it is only found in the eastern Himalayan region, one of the hotspots uh, of India. You can find them in the Darjeeling Zoo. This is Asian elephant, as you can see the ear is small and it is almost parallel to body axis and the body size is much smaller than African elephant. This one is Indian bison or gaur. Uh, the characteristic feature of this is that white patch in the four legs. Sorry. Uh, this one is one horned rhinoceros, abundant in Assam and Northeast India. This is 
pangolin another uh, type of anteater that is found in uh, oriental realm this is pangolin uh, it is also called scaly anteater the uh, due to the presence of scales in their body they are also endangered now let's move into the birds of oriental realm first one is um, national bird of india that is pea fowl uh, this is the picture of a peacock next in uh, great indian bustard nicobar pigeon it is having beautiful feathers colorful feathers this one is bengal florican found in a small region of manush national park and now next move into the next one is the last Geo geographical realm that is Australian realm. The geographic range consists of Australia, New Guinea. This portion is New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is there. New Zealand and all Pacific Islands. The four sub-regions. of this realm are number 1 austro malayan australian polynesian and new zealand next start with the characteristic fauna that is mammals so australia is the land of marsupials the first one you all know this is kangaroo so uh, which any which mammals are called marsupials so those are having marsupium that is a pouch like structure uh, carrying the babies or offsprings so the uh, all mammals of australian realm having that marsupium that is why they are called marsupials so this one is kangaroo this is koala bear this is spinifex hopping mouse nocturnal animal found in the australian deserts ombat this one is nambat nambat is also called uh, uh, banded anteater they are also uh, anteater equivalent that is found in australia these all mammals are marsupials and uh, these two are very interesting animals uh, mammals actually uh, they are egg laying mammals you we all know that mammals give birth to youngs but these two are exception so this is dark billed platypus or ornithorhynchus so uh, it is called dark billed platypus because uh, the bill looks like the bill of a duck that is why it is called dark billed platypus and this one is also a anteater called spiny anteater uh, they are having uh, el elongated snout and elongated tongue um, so the genus name is tachyglossus so these two are egg laying mammals or monotremes next starts with the birds this is lyre bird so this is a uh, lyre bird you can see the uh, beautiful tail of this particular bird this is kokatu in bengali it is called kakatua uh, that is only found in australia and this is a type of kingfisher which is called kookaburra uh, of australian realm next the flightless bird kiwi which is found only in new zealand and this is another uh, not flightless 
but near flightless bird which is called kakapo found in Australia. Um, these um, kakapo is very much endangered nowadays. Another flightless bird emu found in Australia and third flightless bird from Australian realm cassowary. This beautiful bird this is found in Papua New Guinea. So, this is all about zoo geographical realm you need to know. So, first of all you need to practice the uh, world map, you need to remember the uh, 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 geographic range of each realm, the subregions of uh, realms, uh, there are four subregions of each realm and the characteristic fauna that is uh, especially mammals and birds of each realm. So, this is all about geographical realm and my today's class. Thank you.